Hi, welcome back. This is Mr. Go. I'm actually in my second period CPIPS class. Everybody say hi. Hi. All right, good. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about Half-Life and um, show you guys a simple calculation on how to do this without having to do calculations with logarithmic functions and exponential functions. So, <clears throat> so Half-Life is actually defined as the amount of time it takes for half of a radioactive substance to decay. Uh, so that means like after a certain amount of that time, only 50% of that radioactive substance remains. So we're going to take a look at this example, which is radium-226. And the half-life for that uh, isotope is 1,600 years. Now let's start out. Let's say I have 0 0.25 grams of this radium-226. Let's try to come up with some kind of uh, visual representation of this. So let's say we got this. What I want to know is... After about 4,800 years, how many grams of this radium-226 is left over, okay? Knowing that the half-life for this isotope is 1,600 years. So let's go on to the next page and let's take a look and see how to actually solve this without having to use uh, logs or exponential um, uh, functions and so forth, okay? So if we have 0 0.25 grams, and we want to know how uh, many grams is going to be at the end, we just count how many times we have to divide this by 2 until we get to 4,800 years. So let's go ahead and divide this by 2. And if we divide this by 2, one half-life has occurred. So this has 1,600 years have passed. And if I divide that by 2, I get this, 0 .0, uh, 0 0.125 grams. Great. Let's divide that by 2 again. Okay. And if we divide that by 2 again, now I have another 1,600 years. And if I get that, <clears throat> the mass I have left is 0.0. .0 six one and after dividing that by two I get zero point zero three one two five grams and since I started out with two significant figures right there I'm gonna have two significant figures in my answer so my final answer should be zero point zero three one grams and that's how many grams of radium-226 that I have after 4,800 years of decay. And that's a simple way to go ahead and do these uh, half-life problems without actually going through logarithmic calculations. All right? I'll see you guys in class.